Hi friends, welcome to Learn Correlation Series. In this episode, we are going to see something unique and recently it is becoming a viral. Saraha.com So I heard everyone would have, uh, uh, have an account in Saraha.com which will help you to get the constructive feedback from your colleagues and friends. So in this episode, we are going to see how to correlate a simple business flow in Saraha.com. So the critical uh, scenario in Saraha.com is launching the uh, the account subdomain, uh, for example, demo.saraha.com and composing a message and hit send button. So I used JMeter to record a simple business flow. So it has three requests. The first request is launching the subdomain and second request is composing the message and sending it. And the third request is to receive a valid response that is thank you okay so in the first request if you would see in the jmeter there is no parameters we are sending so we are just launching the page and but in the second request we are sending four parameters to the server one is the capture response which is blank because sarha.com doesn't have any capture and the text parameter which is the actual message and the request verification token, it's a unique verification to token and also the user ID, nothing but the request ID. And the third request, again, doesn't have any parameters. Okay. So our main objective is to correlate these two parameters, that is request verification token and the user ID. So correlation is nothing but capturing the dynamic response from the server and storing it in a variable and passing it in the subsequent request. So this is the process of correlation. So our objective is to correlate verification token and the user ID. So this token and the user ID string definitely would have come from the first request, which means whenever you invoke this particular domain, the server will throw back two dynamic strings token and the user id so we have to capture these tokens from the first request response then we need to store it in the variable and we have to pass it in this request and see whether we are getting the valid message or not so before we go for correlation you need to add view results tree so you have to execute once at least to see to capture the response, the dynamic string from the first request response. So here you could see the second request has been failed due to bad request because this particular token and user ID is unique for every time you send a message. So now you need to copy this parameter and see where this parameter is being sent from this server. So go to response data. So click on this response and click on response data and in search, enter the request verification token and click on find. So here you could see, so this is the dynamic string which has been sent from the server. So we have to correlate this. So to correlate, you need to add the a regular expression extractor okay so i'm going to call this as token and this is the regular expression where you can test it here so just paste this regular expression and check this regular expression checkbox and click on find so here you could see the dynamic string has been captured here and enter the template one matches one and default value is error so now we have to correlate the second parameter user id so copy this and search it in the response so here i couldn't find any user id so instead of searching for user id i will search for this string okay 
so i was able to find so here the id is recipient id so here we have to correlate this particular recipient id so add another regular expression extractor and i'm going to call it as recipient id and the regular expression is this is the regular expression and template is one match is one and default values error so now i'm going to replace this c underscore token here so dollar symbol curly braces the variable name similarly for the recipient id So now I'm going to add a debug sampler just to see uh, whether the extraction is working fine or not. So now I'm going to execute. So first request is successful. Again, second request also successful. The response data is done. And third also successful. And the debug sampler, you could see the extracted data. So this is my uh, account i'm going to refresh the screen so right now i have only one so now it is two so now we'll change the message here to testing again and see whether it is working fine or not so once the execution is completed i should see this message testing again so click on run so basically the saraha dot com or as of now the performance is not that much great so every request is taking uh, more than uh, three seconds okay so now i'm going to refresh my account see here testing again so this is how you correlate sarha like applications so main thing is we have to correlate the token and the recipient id so thanks for watching this video again this is only for the educational purpose do not use do not inject a load in the production environment so thanks for watching have a great day thank you